Morning, everyone. How are you doing? Or should I say good afternoon? It's more like afternoon. Sorry about that. Okay, so we are talking about the ens Encircled in Nature stamp set and dies. I'm just waiting for my computer to catch up. I can see that I'm halfway straight. Let's see, there I am. Okay, so, hmm, I don't know why it's giving me such a wide angle. Usually it doesn't, but it's not too bad, a little crooked, but that's okay. Let's see, what can I do? Hold on, let's do the, give you a little wiggle and a jiggle. Sorry. Let's see if I can bring this down. And we'll bring this down a little bit more. There we go. Okay. That's a little better. Get you a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. And hopefully you can hear me good. Okay. So, as always, thank you for shopping with me. Appreciate you supporting my small business. Let's move stuff up a little bit so you can see what we're working with today. So... I hope to give you um, some tips today. And the first one is use what you have. So I don't have the new blending pens yet. I just started with Stampin' Up! in May. So I've been buying stuff like crazy, obviously. And But I still don't have everything. So in the interim of not having sponges, and this is what I'll tell you to use what you have till you get some new stuff. So thank you. And let's get started. Now, last week I had done a couple of cards, and I'm going to bring those back in. Here's the first one, and here's the completed second one with that um, thread twine twine that we um, that we colored in. All right, sorry. I'm just trying to make my screen a little bigger. I can see where I am, and I'm almost off the screen. Hold on. Let's move everything up without losing too many things. Go rolling. Okay. Is that a little better? A little better. All right, so I really need to stay above there. All right, so card number one, card number two from last week. And I told you that this was going to be a two-parter because there was another piece of this stamp set, actually the dies, that I wanted to use to make a third card or even a fourth card. So there's one and two, let's stick those up there. And again, this is the die. It's one, or the stamp set, 163623, if you'd like that one. And the dies are 163628. And they are also called Encircled in Nature dies. Um, sometimes they have totally different names. And the ones that we'll be working with today um, this is not how they come. I put these magnetic sheets in, so that way I have them right where I need them. And I'm talking about this pretty die here today. And the fact that you have some pine, um, what would you call those? Twines, twigs, branches. And you also have, and I, here's tip number two, you also have these leaves that are all clustered together that you can cut apart, but I like that there's two of them, just like this one, two of them stacked together. So it's like really easy to use. They're also not single, so you're not losing little itty bitty pieces. And I really like that. Okay, all right, let's get busy. A couple more things I'm using. This is from the mini catalog. It's the Forever Plaid 3D. Uh, embossing folder and this is one of those big ones it is six by eight and a quarter just over eight and this is the it's called this is in the main catalog and I don't have a sticker on it it's called so swirly I'm almost positive <laughs> but don't quote me on that okay so what are we doing today well I wanted to show you I took some real red and matched it up with some uh, cherry cobbler gold ribbon which 
you know, cherry cobbler is a little darker, but it worked good with that real red. And again, I am still using that stamp set that I talked about. And the reindeer fun for this Merry Christmas. Well, there's your three items. And I made this card. So this has a so swirly, but I used it on the back side rather than the side that pushes out. There's my Merry Christmas from the stamp set, the real red, the ribbon. And this is that, I don't know what you call it, a wreath. And these are the pine, or the, um, the like, oh, what would you call them? Pine sprigs, winter sprigs, Christmas kind of vibe. So there's card number three. Let me take that out of the way. And now I want to give you another tip. First was use what you have. Um, I also like to have versatility. Um, let's say you don't have colored cardstock. Start with white cardstock. That's what I did on that one. It's all white, right? And I'm going to show you a couple things of what you can do with your white cardstock. So let me open these up. And this is something I just came across accident. This is a little, this is my glass mat. And look at I can just stick that right in there. It comes up to the top of the table. And I don't have to open it all the way. And I've got a place to put my little brushes. Now I am opening a lot of them. So I have to remember what I've got open and what I am doing, okay? And the first thing I wanted to show you is if you don't have cardstock, that you do have a brown ink. So I'm just sponging it. And this glass mat is great because you can um, color right on it and wipe it off. So it's a great place to, and right now I'm just going to show you a little bit because I have one done. So I just kind of, I want the different colors, okay? I want the different colors of dark and light and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to heavily dot these um, I don't know berries rose hips what would you call them it could be blueberries ooh blueberry card that would be cool I may have to do a bonus card so anyway I'm just putting heavier here and lighter you know whatever is left on the stems and that's what that looks like. I'm sure you can see it. Hopefully. Yes. Drop it down a little bit. Okay. And then it's really easy. Just take your little chamois that is wet and a dry paper towel. And that is clean it. Quick and easy. There's another tip for you. Okay. <clears throat> what does it look like when it's all done? It looks like this. <clears throat> and you can add that to your card, okay? Now, let's say that you do have colored cardstock. You can then, this is a, a pecan pie um, cardstock, and here's what it would look like on the back side. And then I just hit where the berries were just like I had done on this one, on the white one. So then you get kind of, let's get that one out of the way. You get to this look or that look, this or that, okay? Depending on what you want to do. All right, now, and this is what those little branches look like. I'll hold them up for you. Aren't they cool? These could go as little filler pieces Anywhere. That's what I love about these little extra bits of dye that don't necessarily have a stamped image to stamp on them, but you don't need anything. Just give them a little color, do them in color, and you're good to go. Okay? All right. Now we're going to talk about these pretties. And I have a bunch of them so I can show you some, some different ways to do stuff. So let's do some colored leaves. All right? Let me open these up. I'm 
I wish I had the blending pens. Those are next on my list, but I've been trying to get inks and paper and stamps and chamois and extra things and, you know, all takes time. So please forgive what I don't have. All right, so let's say you want to make some green leaves to put on your wreath, okay? Well, we're just going to take our lightest green and you can do two colors, three colors, four colors. It's up to you. And I'm just going to put some color on, and I know the blending pens would work way better. Um, put some color on there to start. So there's my light color. Now important, another tip. If you don't remember, maybe slide your ink pads away a little bit so that way you know okay I'm working on this one because you don't want to get it in the wrong color okay so I am just sponging swiping and I'm not doing the whole thing you can see that I'm leaving some white okay and now I'm going to pull in this one and pull this one out and I'm going to just hit this Spots that I need the dark. So you can mix and match whatever colors you want. This is old olive, mossy meadow, and I, oh, excuse me, granny apple green. Oh, and I just did what I told you not to do. Ah, it won't hurt too bad, but try not to do that. Do as I say, unless I accidentally do. And you could get a little messy doing this, but that's okay. We're making leaves, right? So look at how pretty that's going to be on there. And there is still a little bit of white, but that's okay. So let's clean this up. Put this away. Okay. Dry that. So there's one color. The greens, if you will. And you can use whatever greens you have. And there again, another, another tip for you. If you don't have, maybe you only have two, do the light, do the dark, and then put, um, just keep adding the darkest one you have to make it a third color, okay? All right, so now let's do another one. Let's add some color. Let's add, sorry, those are all tangled up. Let's add some green and some yellows, okay? So this time I'm going to take, what color do I want? I'm trying to figure out what color I used before. Um, let's take some green at the base again. And there again, I'm, I'm getting some light, some dark within that first color grouping, or first color I'm adding, okay? And now let's go to the other side of our palette and add some yellow. This is a uh, crushed curry, I believe that's what it's called. So we're gonna add some yellow. And yes, I'm probably gonna get pretty messy, but that's okay. We're crafting, you're supposed to get messy. Watch me stick my arm in this one. <laughs> okay, so we've got our yellow on there. And now let's add a little bit of pecan pie, shall we? So I just want this to be at the tips. Just a little here and there. They're just starting to turn brown, if you will. A little bit here and there. And this is just all up to what you want to do. Maybe even a little at this base, a little on the leaf, on the stem. So just have fun with it. Okay, there's number two. And on white, there's my white one. Let's say we had a white one. Wouldn't that be pretty on there? See how pretty? You can just build anything. This is such a great stamp, you guys, and dies. You've got to get them. All right, so that is number 
two in our color blame. Let me get some more cleanup, like so, and some more drying. Okay, next, let's do some fall leaves. I know the trees haven't turned yet outside, but ours inside are going to turn. <laughs> All right, so this one, I, what did I do? I'm trying to remember. I think I only did two colors. So we're gonna take Cajun, oops, got a little wet here. Cajun Craze as our, kind of our, what I would call the base of the leaves. So, Cajun Craze up here. Okay. And then what did I add? Let's get a little bit more on the stems. All right, and then let's add some pumpkin pie. I think that's what I did. A little pumpkin pie action. So there again, you pull together the colors that you have, that you want, that you get, that you like together. And like I said, dark or light, you can really vary what they look like. I'm gonna come in and give myself a little bit darker and it'll show up a little better on camera. And they're always much prettier. I'll take some still shots of these so you can see them. So there's that one, and I'll hold them up too, because I haven't been holding them up. So, so far we've done our orange, our green and gold kind of thing, and our just green. Hi Julie, thanks for watching. What do you think? This is so much fun. And this is not to say that you couldn't start off with like, um, crushed curry and just add some green kind of like I did this one okay so there's that and should we do one more let's do one more and then I will build another card of the leaves once I figure out which colors I want to use but this time let's go with pumpkin and I'm going to do this a little darker so you can see So there's some pumpkin and some crushed curry. And you can even move it over if you want. Probably should have done the crushed curry first. So I'm gonna move it out of that darker pumpkin color. That's probably a good tip. Start with your lightest colors. Kind of like I did on the green. I did the greens right, but you know. Nobody's perfect. Okay. So, there is our last one. A little bit of quick cleanup. If you don't have this mat, run to get one because you get this little thing too. And another little pad that'll hold your ink pads down from wiggling around. Oops, sorry about the noise. So, now we've got this pretty. And then you could um, splatter Wink of Stella on here. You could put a coat of Wink of Stella. You could do it just on these lines. I mean, there's just all kinds of things you could do. And I even think that you can mix and match these kind of going around. And it would look cool too. What do you think? So again, I will figure out which ones leaves I want to use. And I will build another card here. Let's put them on here too. And I've got these other ones. There's that one, that one, this lighter yellow one, and this one. So, like I say, I would just kind of build them around. You can add whatever you want. And maybe do something like that. or you could layer them. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I'm 
didn't have any difficulties. So you could put two like, and that one doesn't go that way, but let's go that way. And then you could layer these on top. So it's all in what you want to do. Or you could, like I said, you could cut them off and just stick them on one at a time or two at a time like this. I'd probably do like that and put it on like so. Like that. Okay. So lots to do. Hope you have some fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm trying to make them a little shorter. If you would like, subscribe, and share these, I'd love it. And um, I will see you next Friday with another video. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.